All right, hey guys, welcome to your Art Centric YouTube. Um, I'm gonna walk you through a 30 minute express class. So we can all start with our feet under our hips. For this class also, you only need a light set of weights. Um, be creative with whatever you wanna use up. So we're gonna take a nice big inhale. I want you to reach nice and tall. Take a flat back, roll it on up. So we're reaching up, flat back, roll it up. I want you to start to get the breath moving here. Just get that body flowing. Last time, bring it up, flat back. Roll up, now both arms up, we're gonna side bend right, come center, left, head naturally follows, right, and left, now arms in front, we're gonna bend through the knees, lift those heels, so it's bend, stretch, releve, taking a nice rise up, last time, now lift those knees, go right knee, left, I want you to feel your abs pull back, strong press off the floor, lift, and lift, a few more elbows are nice and supported, let's add a little twist in, we go right twist, left, so wrapping around that waist, right and left. One more each side, extend those arms, bring them up. Shoulders down, we're gonna add a little pull, bring it down to your waistband. Nice sharp exhales. All right, add your twist, take it right and left, right and left for four, three, two, and one. All right, let's bring it on down to our floor. So we are gonna come down, I want you to take it all the way onto your backs. Legs come to tabletop. Arms are gonna extend, lift head, neck, and shoulders. We're gonna inhale, pump those arms. Exhale, straighten those legs. Inhale, exhale. So inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth here. The breath is so important. Wherever you are adding your practice or your work today, guys, make sure you're keeping that breath moving, flowing. Inhale, holding your legs extended. We're gonna inhale, stay here, pump the arms. Exhale, drop those legs an inch. Inhale, exhale, little lower. Now you can keep going a little lower as long as your low back stays on your floor. Lower it, now holding it here, just inhale, pump, and exhale, let the breath go. Inhale, and exhale. Keep that size of the feet between chin and chest. One more, and exhale. All right, guys, bend the knees, take a little breather, rest your head. From here, we're gonna curl right back up. Arms are straight, so we have a double leg stretch. From here, you slowly reach two pounds. And then bend for a two. So I want you to really focus on the forearm today. Find that nice long extension, keeping that back grounded. Head and neck is supported through the core and through the back. Let's take this to tempo. Extend and bend. So we're reaching, bending. Now know when you bend your legs back in, try to stop them right when they line up over the hips rather than bringing them into the chest. Hold extended freeze. We're going to bring our hands behind the head. Hold right here a moment. Last set of both today. Now drop your left leg, right leg is up. Let's crunch to the right side. So left elbow, right knee. Up an inch, up an inch. Giving your head and neck some support. We're gonna switch to the left. So you're taking it up. Now you can always modify this by bending through the knees. Four, three. Two, bend the knees. We're gonna alternate, go right, change left. So little bicycles here. If you wanna amp it up, you can extend those legs. We have four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, a little breather by the knees. We're gonna take our feet flat on the floor, arms extend over our head, two pounds. We're gonna try to lift our legs tabletop. So we're gonna inhale, when you exhale, bring it up for two, and down for two. Lifting, two, down, two, up for two, and down for two. Lift, squeeze those knees, lower. Hold this next one at the top, bring the hands to prayer, go right twist, left twist. So you're finding your balance. Core is strong, breath is fluid. Four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, take a little breather. Lift up through your chest. We are gonna get into some tricep dips. So stay where you are. Fingertips are gonna point forward. I want you to roll your shoulders down and back. Lift your hips up, shift your weight back. Start to just bend and extend through the arms. Down, up, bending. Stretching. So really making sure here, you're not shrugging through the shoulders, it is all in the back. So those arms stay. Bend, stretch. We're gonna start to pulse right here. Pulse it down, extend this right leg. Down, down. We have four, three, two. We're gonna lower your right and switch your left. Stay pulsing, down, and down. Just four, three, two. Both feet down, just pulse it, eight to finish. Six right here, and four, three, two, 
and one. All right, take a seat, cross up those ankles. We're gonna pass the hands open up to that chest and reach forward, take a little stretch. And then coming out of this, let's get right to our planks, guys. So keeping it warm. Coming right back around, we are gonna walk onto our forearms to start this one. So clasp your hands, step your feet back. They're gonna go at hip distance. I want you to lift your knees, brace your core. Just start to center yourself here. So we're taking a static hold again. I want the focus to be where the wrists are, not letting your hips pike up, but you bring them down and you pull the belly up. From here, we're gonna bend our right knee, left knee, right, left. Just like you're dipping your knees in water. Imagine that hot cup of coffee on your back. I don't want you to spill it. Find your core and your hip stability. Little bit quicker, left side, right and left. So check in with yourself, guys. Make sure that your breath is moving. In through the nose, out through the mouth. For four, three, two, both legs stay straight. We're gonna walk right foot, left foot, little tap to right, left, right tap, left tap, right, left. Just four, three, two. We're gonna bring it center, walk to the full plank. So bring it on up, roll shoulders down, lift the right leg up, just point and pulse. So when we're lifting, you're squeezing through your seat. Actively plugging the shoulders down. We're gonna lower that right leg, switch to your left. Just point and pulse. Take it up and up. Here's three, two, now lower it down. We're gonna take your right knee, plug it into your chest, pull it in and in. Tiny little pulse right here for four, three, two, step it back, left side, bring it in. We're almost through this, guys, stay with us. Just four, three. Two, pull it back right here. Let's find a side plank. Left hand center, open it up. We're gonna reach that right arm up. Lift your hips, open your chest. Stay breathing, modification. Drop the top foot. Four, three, two, we're gonna switch those sides. Right hand center, let's open to your left. Reach it up, lift up through the waist. Hold it for four, three, two, come back through center. Stand and hold the finish right here. So shoulders down, neck is long. We're finishing strong for four, three, two, and one. All right, bring it down, child's pose. Hips come back, deep breath, shifting left and right, whatever you need. We are gonna roll it on up. All right, guys, let's come on up. We're gonna get right to our arms now. So when we come up, grab a hold of your weights, whatever you're gonna use for today. And then I want you to just take your feet in parallel. So I'm just gonna turn to the side so you guys can see me a little bit better. I want you to bend down through your knees. You're gonna hinge forward from your waist. Now pull your elbows up and back. So that nice strong stance to begin with. We're gonna take arms back and then bend. So try some kick backs here, reaching your arms back. Extending, bending. So finding that hinge is super important. I want you to think the crown of the head reaches forward. Tailbone is gonna reach back. So if you're noticing from the shoulder to the elbow, that angle is gonna stay consistently the same. So we're trying not to drop that angle and sway the arms at all. Extend. And then stretch it back. Then now hold the arms straight. Those arms go up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. Lifting, lowering. So really just pulling those core muscles up off those thighs. Let's take these pulses. Let's lift up an inch, up an inch. So the goal is to try to get your arms a little higher than your hips without breaking those ribs. Let's do four, three, two. Pull the top right here. Now micro bend stretch. So they're small. Little bend in the elbows, nice long stretches, reaching all the way back. Now when you stretch back, think about your exhale. Go, crown of the head reaches forward. Just a few more right here, guys. We have four, three, two. Now your palms flip up. We're gonna pulse the arms up. And up. straight as long as arms here. We're gonna keep it simple today. So your challenge option to finish up these triceps are gonna be to pop your heels. So let's lift the heels, find the balance. We're done in eight more. Just six. Last four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, bring them overhead, drop it down, hug it out, elbows to ears, and bends. Time for biceps. So let's take our feet wider than our hips this morning. So your toes are gonna point forward. Bring your palms facing that front mirror wherever you're facing. Slowly, we're gonna curl two pounds. Read these for two. Let's soften up the knees a little bit. Read these for two. So curling, two, releasing. Making sure whatever you're using for your weight, you don't want to be death gripping it. We're really thinking about the contraction of the biceps today. Bring it up for a two. Release now a little bit quicker. Let's just curl. Release, take it in and out. 
Think about your arms like you're moving through molasses here. So it is up to you to really get that deeper contraction before that weight hits the shoulder. Take it in, take it out. Now from here, slow it down. You're gonna add a squat for two, release for two. Bring it down for two. Come up a little bit quicker. Let's just curl, release. Now there is a slight hinge in that chest. Make sure you're not dropping that chest parallel here. Your shoulders still sit a little bit above where those hips are. Curling, releasing. So really hinge back, trust yourself. Let your weight go to your heels. Down and up. Hold the bottom right here. Take a curl and a pulse, curl, pulse, curl, pulse. So I want you to find that point where your muscles are really contracting. You're sitting deeper into those glutes, through those thighs. Let's take this four, three, two. Now alternate, we're gonna drop right arm, drop your left arm. So if you wanna take this to the next level, we're gonna add those heels. We go right heel. Left heel, right, left. Okay, so starting to feel that burn here, guys. Check in with your breath. Make sure you're breathing. Full body work. Right and left. Take it right, take it left. For four, three, two. Now both heels down. You're gonna take your arms, you're gonna curl them up. And then palms turn in, press it up, pull it down. Same thing, press it up, pull it down. Up, down, up, down. So just like those closed go pose arms here. Hold that shoulder height, take pulses up, up. Soft bend through those knees, toes point parallel. Reach it up and up. We have four, three, two, hold the top right here. We're gonna open, close, open, close. Let's hit that back and work through your chest. A few more, open and close, open, close. Now hold the arms back, take presses, back inch, back inch. These are small, taking that deeper engagement without jacking your weights. We're going back for four, three. Now hold the arms back, you're gonna bring them to the waist, take it down, for two, back shoulder height. For two, again, to lowering. Up, when you lower down, elbows are slightly behind that back, and up a little quicker. Go down, go up, lower, lift, lower, lift. Okay, guys, a few more, pull it down, and up. We're gonna hold to the waist, take tiny little pulls, go in, in. So working those back muscles, pulling your abs in a little stronger. We'll go four, three, two back shoulder height. We're gonna overhead press right here. Press it up, pull it back, down, go up, go down. Now when you press, arms slightly in front of your forehead. I want you to protect your rotator cuffs. Down and up, bring it down and up. Hold overhead right here and just then press. Then press. Okay, keep those wrists straight. Belly is in. Challenge option right here, guys. Let's pop those heels. We have eight more. Just six. We're done in four, three, two, and one. All right, little shoulder roll. For this next part, we're gonna step our feet into parallel here. Just one more section. So what I want you to do is bend down through the knees. Arms come in front. Shoulder height, lift. Bring them up, bring them down. Lifting. Lowering, lift, lower. So we're not gonna sway. Each part is a point. I want you to hit each point. Right here, and lower. Take it up, take it down. Check in with your breathing. Hold to the top, take pulses right here, up an inch, up an inch. Four, three, now I want you to keep your arms lifted. We're not gonna drop them. We're gonna step out wide second. Toes turn out, bend it down, and just lift pulse, lift pulse. And last final section, I really blast out those arms today. Keep lifting. Four, three, now hold legs down, arms up. Alternate shapes, right and left. So lowest working zone, pop your heels if you're feeling it. We have eight, breathe through this a little bit lower. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work, guys, roll the shoulders. Drop your weights, you did it. Let's take a little arm stretch. Right arms across, shoulder down. Try not to grab at the joint, just think forearm to forearm. And then reach overhead. Grabbing the outside of the elbow, hands, legs down the back. And then release. Left arm across, shoulder down, focus left. And then arm overhead. Side stretch, hand on the back. All right, and release. So we are gonna get into our thighs right now. All right, guys, so we're gonna get into our thighs a little bit deeper. And a reminder, you don't need a bar or support for this, but you're more than welcome to grab a chair if you do have one and you prefer it. So I want you to set this one up. Um, we're actually gonna start in parallel, do a little calf warm up first. So you can take your hands onto your waist or onto your support. We're just gonna lift those heels and then lower. So lift them up, lower down. 
Use this time, I want you to really ground all 10 of the toes on the floor. Try to notice if that, if you're feeling like you want to roll out to your pinkies, we're going to avoid that. One more step. Let's speed it up. We just lift up. Up. So building strength and mobility around the ankles. Keep lifting up. Up for four, three, two. Hold the top. We're going to try to free. So one or both arms overhead. Lift up through those chests. Beautiful. Holding four, three, two, and one. Take a little bend. So we're going to get right into these thighs now. All I want you to do, step your heels together, toes apart. Remember, the turnout comes from the hips. Hands come to that waistband. Then down through the knees. Let's start with the right leg. I want you to extend it in front of you low. Remember, we're in turnout. We're going to lift that leg, bring it up, tap it down, lift, tap. So finding core stability, minimizing movement through your hips. So make sure that your spine is nice and long. Shoulders stay right over those hips. We lift. We lower. Always focus on the length of your leg. Don't worry so much about the height here. Going for that form over that height. Tap, lift, tap, lift. We're gonna hold at the top right here. Take tiny little pulses, up an inch, up an inch. Focusing on really wrapping that inner thigh. So the inner thigh is gonna point up to your ceiling. And with the point, instead of crunching through your toes, I want you to think about the length. So that you're more so pointing from your ankle, lift. Lift. Take it four right here. Three, two, hold that top. You're gonna to start to bend stretch. Bend stretch. So if that stretch is nice and long, your bend is small. Then reach. Then reach. Now you're breathing here. We're gonna exhale when you stretch. So you're letting it go nice and long. Just a few more. Let's do four. Three, two. Now as you stretch, I want you to bring it up for two. Take it down. Two pounds. Bend stretch as you lift. Bend stretch as you are. Now notice that left leg is going to start to burn a little bit. Totally normal here. It's part of that challenge. Reach. Two. Lower. Two. Last time. You're going to hold the top right here. Just flex your foot and pulse it up. Up. All right, guys. Lift through the chest. Make sure you're not sinking in that supporting side. One or both arms overhead. Let's lift. Beautiful. We take this six more. Just four. Three. Two. One. And raise. All right. We're going to give those thighs a little shake here. We're gonna get right to the other side, then we'll stretch them quick. So heels together, toes apart. Bending down, take a nice deep breath. Extending your left leg long, pointing through those toes. Let's start to just lift and lower. Lift, lower. A few more. Bring it up and down, up and down. Lift, lower. So if it helps, think about your quad. Squeeze the quad, not the joint. That's gonna help with the extension of the leg. Again, minimizing the tension through the toes. Hold at the top, take a pulse right here, bring it up, and up. So you're reaching the length of your leg, like you're almost trying to reach your toes past the finish line. Lift, lift, beautiful work. Just a few more, check in. Can you bend your right knee down a little bit deeper? Beautiful, we have four, three, two. Hold the top right here, just start to bend, stretch, bend, stretch. You can almost think like you're flicking something away with the top of the foot. Reach, reach, finding that length. Still thinking about the head pulling up like a string. As you reach, you're going to start to take your leg, bring it up for two. Bend stretches you lower. Bend stretches you lift two pounds. Bend stretches you lower. So you're going to notice the challenge of the balance on that right side. Down. Two. Up. Two. Lower. Two. Lift. Two. Lower. Last time right here, guys. Hold it up. I want you to flex your foot and just pulse up. Up, we're at the end. Squeeze, feel that burn in those thighs. One or both arms overhead. Lift that chest. We just have six right here. Bring it up for four, three, two, and one. All right, guys. Little bit of a shake. I want you to take your right hand to your right foot. Try to connect the knees. Soften through the left. And then release. Grabbing your left. Bring your heel to your seat. Tuck your hips under. All right. Deep right of these thighs this morning. So I want you to step wide. Toes and knees are going to turn out to your second position. Take your hands into prayer. We are going to bend down like your backside's down wall. Begin to go down an inch, up an inch, lower, lift. So we're bracing through that core, feeling that weight more on the outstep of the foot here. So you're finding external rotation through your hips. So know that your thighs press back. You never want to let your thighs come in. So you're lifting your chest. Now use your palms. Press them tight. Feel your chest muscles in your back light up. Go down. Go up. Take the pulses. Down. Down. 
Swimming a little bit lower here. Feeling those hips really start to wake up. Down. And down, minimizing the bounce. So inner and outer thighs are gonna feel the burn. Let's do four, three, two, hold it down. I want you to turn to your left side. So your right knee settles. Drop your back knee. Let's go down inch, come up inch, down inch, up inch. So your back knee is underneath your hips. Your legs are 90-90. So if you're feeling your heels shift back, I want you to shift the weight into the ball of the foot. Let's pulse it down for eight. Just six. Here's four, three, two. Bring it back to center. Let's pulse down right here. Go low. Stick with me. Try to do this entire series without coming out of it. We take these pulses, four, three, two. We're gonna turn towards Main Street. Drop your back knee, down inch, up inch. Lower, lift. Now let's maintain that and lift the chest. Your eyes are straight ahead, chin is off the chest. Let's pulse it right here. Go down, down. Ooh, so really starting to feel that burn, guys. Make sure your legs are 90, 90. We have four, three, two. We're gonna bring it back center. Turn out, pulse down, add down. We are almost through this here. The goal is to create the shake in the thighs, so try to stick with me. Four, three. Now our toes are gonna turn parallel. Hinge to a spot, go down. And down, we're gonna stay here just for a little bit. Trust yourself, let your hips go back. You're sitting in that really deep seated couch. We take four, three, two, let's turn the feet out and pulse down four, three, two, back to that squat. We have four, three, two, turn it out just for two, on two in your parallel squat. So we're cutting that in half. Back for two, open. Take it back for two. Open, we are gonna end right here, guys. Stay in your parallel squat. We're gonna take both arms, reach them overhead. So you're pulling that belly in. Eight more. Just six, shoulders down. Four, three, two, one, and release. Beautiful job. Take a deep breath, catch your breath, whatever you need. We're gonna come on down. We're just gonna get to a little stretch here. Right leg in front, left leg back. Hands come on top of the thigh. Take a little press as you lift up. I'm going to want you to reach your right hand back, left arm stretches up, a little bit of a side bend, bring your elbow to your outer knee, pressing off the bicep to your back bar, option to tuck the back toes, lift them up, left hand lowers, right arm reaches, open and stack your chest, gently drop back knee, grab for the toes if you can, wherever you're at, most important part of this one is to drop the pelvis heavy, try to bring your hips up just a little, pressure is off the knee. All right, release your toes back. Flex right toes to your chest. Shift that weight a little bit more forward. Feel free to point the toes if you'd like. And then from here, we're just gonna go right into our half pigeon. So I want you to slide your shin a little bit more parallel if you can. Wrap your left hip down. Either you're up here on the hands or you're gonna walk it out. Just give yourself a moment to breathe. Catch your breath. Letting your left leg disappear behind your head. And then we walk it right in. We're gonna switch those sides, guys. So left leg is in front. Right leg is back. So the stretching portion is very important here. Really just helping with that muscle recovery. Hands on the top of the thigh, press off the thigh, lift up through your chest. Now drop left hand, right arm reaches. We're gonna inhale, exhale, twist around. Hands come to prayer. Think of bringing out your waist down with a washcloth. Let's tuck the back toes. Lift the back knee. And then lower right hand. Left arm comes up as you open through your chest. Let's drop your back right knee. Reach, try to grab the toes if you can, heel to seat, and then I want you to lift your chest. Feel the pressure go off the kneecap. Try and drop the pelvis heavier. And then release the toes back. Flex left toes to the chest, shift your weight forward. You should feel a slight uncomfortable stretch behind your left leg. Not painful, just uncomfortable. Now point your toes, stay here if that's feeling good for you. Or what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take it to our half pigeon right here. So bring your shin a little bit more parallel. Flex the foot, protect your knee and ankle. Right hip wraps down, walk it out. Take those nice deep belly breaths here, letting your shoulders melt from the ears. All right, beautiful work, guys. On the way back, we walk it in. Step your left foot to meet your right. Toes are gonna tuck under, hips go high, downward facing dog, and pedal your feet right and left. And then we walk our hands right back into our toes. Soft the knees to roll all the way up. And then our head's off to lift. All right, we're gonna get right into our glutes. So we're gonna come down. And now we're gonna start with that right side, staying consistent here. So walk your hands under your shoulders, brace your core, pull the belly up. 
We are going to take your right leg. I want you to lift up until you can feel the bottom line of your seat catch. Now, keeping your toes pointed slowly, we lower to the floor for two, lift, two. Now, your hands are important. They're going to frame where you're placing your focus. So you want your neck as long as possible. Let's speed this up. Just lower, squeeze it. Now, the key here is when you lift, that's when I want you to squeeze your glute. That's when that contraction is going to happen. So really making sure minimal movement through the hips. And if it helps you to visualize, think of a hot cup of coffee on your back. We don't want to spill it, so we are going to keep that super stable. Bring it up. Down. Unclench the jaw if you're clenching here. Let's let go of that tension. Lower. Lift. Lower. Now hold it up and just take a lift. Bring it up an inch. Up an inch. We go a little pokes with the toes to the ceiling. Now if you want to get deeper, heel comes closer to your seat. You get a little deeper through the contraction in the hamstrings. Continue these for four, three, two, we'll stop right here. Your leg extends and bend. Extend and bend. Extend. Bend. From the hip to the knee, try to keep that angle the same. So we're just trying not to drop it. Stay in that working zone. Extending. Bending. We're going to hold this next one straight right here and just pulse it up. Up. So a great way to check to make sure that you're not sinking in your supporting left side is to try to hover your left hand. If you hover it and you go nowhere, that's perfect. That's where you want to be. If you fall over, shift your weight more to that right side. Four, three, two, hold the top right here. We're going to slowly open. So you're going to keep your left hand down. I want you to reach your right arm up. So your hips open, they square forward. We're going to slowly tap your toes with the arm reaching. And then you lift, your palm goes down. So you're going to reach, tap, lift, press. Watching that your bottom hand stays under that shoulder. Bring it up a little bit quicker. So you're going to reach and tap, press. Reach, pull, press. So we are going to do a little double work here. As we target those glutes, we're going to hit those obliques. Keep your neck long. Keep that stress and tension out of that body. Reach, tap. Reach, tap. Beautiful. Hold that top. Take a press right here. Press lift. Press lift. Longest line from the hip to the toes. Little presses. Four right here. Three. Two, hold the top. You're going to bring your hand behind the head. Bring your heel to your seat. Knee is behind your hip. Flex the butt and just go back an inch. Back an inch. Little presses. Now, your heel can be slightly above where your knee is to help with the rotation of the thigh going down. Back for four, three, two. Hold it back. You're going to take a little lift and a crunch. If this is too much balance wise, your right hand can come down a finger or two to help you. We're going to lift it. Just eight more. We're done in six. Last four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, take it down, child's pose. Open your knees, melt your hips back a moment. Make room for the chest, you can take a little wiggle. And then we are gonna roll it right on up. So what I want you to do is we're gonna swing around. I want you to get the other side right away before we come down and get a little deeper in the top of the waist. So hands line up underneath those shoulders. Lifting your left leg, you can point through the toes. Slowly, we lower for two, lift, two. Take it down, up. We're lowering down. Two, lift, one count each. We're gonna lower, lift, down, up. If you're someone who hyperextends here, you can make a soft bend through your elbows. Just opening those palms up nice and wide. Lower, lift, take, and lift. Tap down, squeeze, lift. Let's hold at the top right here and take those little pulses. Now, you can add a little tuck of the hips. You're aiming your left hip down. All right, guys, we're going to do a balance check. Hover that right hand. See where your body wants to go. Hopefully, it's nowhere. Keep lifting. Keep breathing. Four, three, two. Hold the top right here. That leg extends, bends. Extend. Know that the closer your heel comes to your glute, the deeper you're going to feel that contraction in the back of that thigh. So let's imagine I'm going to light a candle underneath your belly button. Don't let the belly drop. Always protect your low spines. We're going to hold this next one extended and take these pulses. Up an inch. Up an inch. Just squaring that left up a little bit further down. Always reach up that bail and see how you're doing there. A few more. Just for four. Three. Two. We're going to hold the top. Now opening your left hand up. You want to open through the hips. Slowly, you're going to tap your toes as your arm reaches, and then you're going to press and lift. So you're reaching over with the tap, press and lift, reach, two, 
tap a little bit quicker. So you reach, press, reach, press. Now those joint angles are important. Your right knee is under your right hip. Your right wrist is under your right shoulder. So as long as those are stable, I think you're gonna feel a lot more balanced through this. If they're not, just reach up and reach up. Reach, tap, reach. Hold the top right here and just press lift. Press lift, hit those obliques, you guys. Nice, few more. Keep lifting, four, three, two. Hold the top, bring the hand behind the head. Bend your heel to your seat, flash your foot, and just strike back inch, back inch. These are small presses. Good, opening that chest, nice crowd, lift the chest. Few more, take it back, back. We're gonna hold it back right here. Just lift and crunch, lift and crunch. Take it up, up. Almost to the end, breathe, eight more. Just six, last four, three, two, and one. All right guys, another child pose. Open your knees, set your hips back, give your low back some love. Let's roll it on up. Let's turn and face forward here. All I want you to do is take your right leg over your left. Sit bones are flat on the mat. If this is too much flexibility wise, you extend the bottom leg, that's a modification. Reach your left arm up, take a little twist, look to the back bar. And then come center, cradle the side of your hand, rock it back and forth. Little circles, whatever you need to do to open up the hips. And then gently stack down. Hands are back, open your chops or walk them forward as your sit bones fall back. And roll it on up. All right, just switch quickly. So left over your right, sit bones are down. Right arm reaches. Take that twist, look around. Come through center. Lift the left leg, cradle it. You do little circles, whatever you need. And then gently stack it down. Hands go back, open the chest, or walk your hands forward, pull the sit bones back. All right, roll it on up. So a little bit deeper on the top of the waist, this is gonna flow right into our abdominal section. So you guys are doing awesome, you're almost to the end of that class. Start laying down on your left side. I actually want you to be on the forearm. So left forearm is down, right hand is in front. Scoot your hips back. So your legs are at that front diagonal. Think your heels almost line up with your butt. Now you're gonna take your top leg extended. We're gonna bring your leg, you're gonna reach it forward for two and back. Two, take it forward, two, back, two, reach, two, back, two, one more. So lift up the left side of that waist, a little quicker, and let's reach forward and back, forward, back. Little windshield wiper action here, but it is staying controlled. Your core is super tight here. We're not gonna let that shoulder sink. We're gonna pull it up. We're gonna hold this next one just nice back an inch, back an inch. Now as your leg goes back, Hip is gonna aim forward in that position. That hits the crosshairs in the top of the waistband. So it's those really hard to reach areas. We have four, three, two. Now from here, bring the knees down. We're gonna to open to a clamshell, lower down. So we open, close. Without your top leg rolling back. So it's less important how wide the legs open. More important that you're remaining with the hips stacked. Open, close, hold the top. Just press right here, go back an inch. Back an inch, neck is long, shoulders are down. Good. Four, three, two, now hold the top leg. You're gonna take it, tap it in front, tap it behind. Again, slow. Now a little bit quicker, let's tap front, tap back. Now notice the knee stays pointed up. You don't wanna drop it down here. So with the knee up, it's gonna get deeper in the waist, deeper in the top of the seat. Tap front, tap back, tap front, tap back. Hold the tap back right here and press your thigh back. Back, little press, open up more in those hips. Now check in, left shoulder down, lift your left waistband. We go back an inch for four, three, two. We're gonna take it right onto our backs here. Heels come together, toes apart. I want you to take your hips, bridge them up and down. So we lift, we lower, lift, lower. Hold the top right here and just pulse up an inch, up an inch. Now your hands, I want you to reach them long towards your heels. Shoulders drip away from those ears. It is all glutes, bring it up. For four, three. Adding your legs, just press right here, press lift, press lift. So legs back, hips up. Just a few for four, three, two, and one. All right, slowly lower down. I want you to take an inhale, exhale. You can extend your arms and legs long. We're gonna roll all the way up, and we're gonna swivel right around, coming onto your right side. So coming on down here, right forearm is down, left hand is gonna come in front. Knees in front, heels line up with the ankles. 
So her heels line up with your seat. Take your top leg extended long, so low we reach. In front, side head back for two. Take it front, two pounds. Bring it back for two, forward. Back now, one pound each. Slide it forward and back. Stabilize your hips, stabilize your core. Now that left hand is there to help you. So you're reaching back and front. Go back and front, back, front. Hold it back right here and just go back an inch. Back an inch. As your leg slices back, your head rolls forward. We are lifting that right side of the waist. That shoulder stays down. Think of wearing really long earrings. Don't let the earrings hit the shoulders. We're gonna take this back for four, three, Two, now bring those knees together, feet are touching, open and close, right to clamshell. Open, close, open, close. So really just tune into the muscles that you are working. A few more, take it down, and open, tapping, opening. We're gonna hold it at that top, press back inch, back inch. Small presses back, back, squeezing the outer seat in the top of that hip. Just a few more, four, three, Two, we're gonna hold the leg back. We're gonna tap your toes in front for two. Behind, two. In front for two. Behind now, a little bit quicker. Let's tap front, tap back. Go forward, go back. Notice that knee stays up. We're not gonna point it down here. I want you to catch higher in the waist, hitting a little more of those obliques. We're breathing forward, back. Hold your next one back and just press back inch. Back inch. So we're focusing, we're opening those hips, we're lifting that right waistband. We take it back and back. Just a few more. We're gonna press this six. Just go four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna take it right onto our backs. Our legs are wider than our hips now. Arms are straight. We're gonna lift up, lower down. So you lift all the way down, full bridges. We go up, go down, bring it up. Bring it down, hold the top right here, and just lift up an inch, up an inch. So just tiny little hip lifts here. We're gonna pop those heels, keep lifting, go up, and up. So the balls of the feet are down, your heels are lifted. Keep it going, we have eight more. Just six, last four, three, two, and one. All right, full roll down here. Extend those arms and legs. We're gonna take an inhale, when you're ready, exhale, roll it all the way up. And then stay right where you are. All I want you to do is we are gonna come with our knees bent. And then our hands go on the tops of the knees. I want you to inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, hollow it out, seat curves fine. Go low until your fingers barely touch. Hands are on the back to those sides. We go down an inch, come up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Lower, lift. So really just finding where those abs are gonna pull in and back, take it down and up. Lower, lifting, down inch, up inch. Check in, no depth grips here. So really just a gentle touch. We're gonna pulse it down right here, take it down, down. Your hips are a mini ice cream scooper. So think about hips to ribs, we're gonna close the gap here. When you exhale, that is when your abs are pulling in and back. So the breath is so important because your breath allows you to get deeper. You wanna exhale. We have four right here, three, two, now hold it down, bring the arms in front, we're gonna go right twist, come center, stay to the right, come center, we go right, center, right, now hold to the right, take tiny little twists, extend that right leg, twist, twist, think of bringing out a watch clock, that's your waistband. We have four, three, two, bring it back to the center, you drop right leg, we're gonna go left twist, come center, left twist, Center, if you're not feeling this, you can always take this lower here, it is up to you. We're gonna hold that twist and just extend that leg, take a little bit of a twist here. Twist, twist, so it's a twist and a pulse. We're gonna go down six more. Just four, three, two, bring it back to the center, arms overhead, relax your feet, we sink down an inch, up an inch, right here, this is where we're all gonna sink two inches deeper, guys. Close your eyes, stick with me. Down, and up, bring it down. Bring it up, we're gonna pulse it down right here. Go down and down. So lowest working zone, let's make the abs shake. We breathe eight, just six. Last four, three, two, and one. All right, fold it forward. Hug it out, bend the knees if your low back is feeling tight. And then roll it all the way up. So final section for our abs today. 
What we're going to do is I want you to come down into your kickstand arms. So elbows on your shoulders, hands are staying flat. Lift up through your chest, tabletop with those legs. We're going to tap your right toes. Let's tap down, lift, switch left, tap down, lift, right tap, lift up, left tap, lift up. So, so important, don't let the belly lift up here and arch the back. I want you to really pull down, always protecting that lower spine. Good, now alternate, hip center, right, change left. The knees stop right over the line of the hips. You want to avoid bringing them into the chest. This is too much flexion in those hips. A few more, tap four, three, two. Now hold to the top, you're going to start to tuck your hips, just tuck. Tuck, these are so small. So barely seeing them, but I know that you're feeling them. Exhale, exhale. Pulling that core in and down, in and down. For four, three, two, hold right here. You're gonna stretch your right leg, bend it in, you switch left leg, bend it in. Go right, bend, left, now alternate, skip center, right, change left. Go right, you can start to take that range a little lower with those legs, almost to a hover, beautiful. Keep this up. We have four, three, two. Now those legs are gonna stay extended. Bring them to the diagonal, just tuck under. Under, this is where we finish, guys. Stay strong. Eight more tucks. We have six. Last four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work, roll it down. Hug your knees to your chest. Rock and roll back and forth on that spine. All right, guys, let's roll it all the way up. So beautiful work today. If you guys have any questions about any of those moves, always feel free to ask us. Um, any requests too, you can slide those in our DMs. We'll be happy to fulfill those requests. So have a great rest of the day.